is a GUI framework built on top of Dart. It's supported by Google. It was originally targeted at iOS and Android applications to build native applications. Flutter 2.0 brings additional features, one of which is the ability to use Flutter Web to build dynamic websites like this. It has all the types of animations that you would expect uh, for a modern website. Flutter also now has pretty good support for desktop. Although it's not quite in production, these are Flutter desktop applications on Windows. So with one code base and Flutter 2.0, you can build iOS, Android, desktop for Linux, Mac, and Windows, as well as web. At Opkey, I use Flutter and Dart every day. We've been using it for about a year to build different types of websites, mobile apps, desktop apps, and command line apps. Supported by Google, Dart and Flutter now has an active community of third-party applications. And this pub.dev, which is the main community site for the Flutter packages, has just been updated where you can see popular packages and also ratings such as the likes the pub points popularity as well as support for the different types of flutter application for example this package http which is only on 0.13 has support for dart native javascript flutter android ios linux mac os web and windows people often ask me should they go to the production with flutter in most cases, probably not, unfortunately. Although we use Flutter internally, uh, Flutter is generally not that widely used in our community. If you look at, for example, the Stack Overflow Insights, you'll see that HTML, CSS, JavaScript, it's way up there on the top of the respondents. You have these standard languages like Python, Java. This is Bash right here. PowerShell. Dart's way down here at 4%. The question is, why are we using Dart? Why are we using Flutter? This may help you make an evaluation of whether Dart and Flutter works well for your organization. The primary reason we're using Flutter and Dart is because we spend a lot of time at Opkey in the Rico Theta developer community. Uh, we manage this community for Rico and it's primarily focused on a camera model, the Rico Theta. This is, we help businesses build mobile apps primarily for the Rico Theta camera. The API is a REST-like HTTP API. So the commands have these API endpoints here. And it's because of the type of API that we're dealing with that we're able to use Flutter and Dart effectively to answer the questions in the community about how do you use the API. Because the API is a standard REST API, uh, the payload is going to be largely the same regardless of whether you're using uh, Java or Swift or Kotlin or whatever language you're using for your uh, mobile app development. Due to the, the wealth of experience with Java, and Objective-C, almost everybody is using Java and Objective-C. Some people have started moving to Kotlin for Android and Swift for iOS, and I think that trend is really accelerating. However, they're primarily using the native toolkits here in the developer community. There's not too much activity even around React Native or Apache Cordova which are arguably more popular than uh, Flutter uh, at this point. So if they're not using React Native and they're using the native uh, SDK for uh, Android and iOS, uh, it's highly unlikely that they're going to be using uh, Flutter. For our purposes, I can build these Dart command line uh, test suites uh, that can be fairly extensive to to test the API on the command line. I can build these uh, command line interfaces uh, with it for the testing or, and automate the testing with different types of scripts, including bash scripts. 
And then I can take the same scripts that's written in Dart and drop it into a Flutter mobile app so I can test it on native iOS and Android. And so while I do quite enjoy using Dart and Flutter, and I think it's wonderful, um, thought I would do everyone out there a solid. And what's my actual advice to people if they're thinking of building a production level uh, mobile app? And while I would love to tell everyone to use Flutter right now and drop the native SDKs for uh, Android and iOS, is actually not what I'm telling the uh, business developers out there that come to us for advice for you know for business purposes. This is as of March 2021. What I do advise is uh, you may want to give it a look. You may want to start building your skill level up with uh, Dart and Flutter and be ready maybe to make some prototypes. It is pretty fast to make prototypes on it for both iOS and Android, right? If you want to show someone a concept and just keep that tool set in your back pocket. So you may be surprised at the conclusion and my opinion on the matter. It, it, it is a personal opinion. Although I am a bit of a flutter and dart evangelist, I do think it's an important part to be realistic about when to use the language and the framework and when not to, because the ultimate goal is to have successful projects uh, for your organization and for your business. And for that reason, it sometimes is good to use what everybody else is using. And as of March 2021, they're most likely using the native uh, the, the native SDKs. And But that could change in 2021. Let's see. If you want more uh, tips on development, especially if you have a Rico Theta, subscribe to the channel. And have a great day.